Our next guest is a self-published author with a brand new book on personal trials and triumphs titled, I Know It Now. Joining us now to share a little bit more about her book and what it's all about is author Dawn Baysmore. And Dawn, good to have you. Thank you for having me. Good. So you know it now? Yes. What I do know you know a lot now? now. <laughs> <laughs> a journey about your life experience. Yes. And so for somebody who doesn't know, uh, you had some real rough experiences. Yes. And now you're on the other side of them. Yes. And now you're connecting people with them. Yes. Talk about I Know It Now. So give us a little bit. So I Know It Now is a book about uh, my journey of me growing up and being molested. Then mm. of, from that, I um, had a husband who was physically, verbally abusive. And then just as I got older, I was like, oh, let me get a life coach. Mm -hmm. So in getting a life coach to kind of sort out my life, um, we start talking about, you know, what happened to you in your past. And, you know, so we just started writing. She was like, just write, just write. So I was writing and writing. And that's how I Know It Now came about. Mm -hmm. And it was just journeying about, okay, how do I overcome what happened to me or being abused, sexually abused? Mm -hmm. Sometimes that affects you with having relationships. How can I have an effective relationship and get over that? So as we talked about it, it was therapy. Mm -hmm. You know, she's like taking me step by step, helping me get over, you know, triumph over what I've been through. Hard so, to write down? Yeah, it was hard. Mm -hmm. Some portions of the, at the beginning, with, she wanted me to write a letter to my stepfather, who was the person that abused me, and my mm -hmm. mom, who um, she did approach him about it, and she knew. But um, kind of staying there in that relationship, mm -hmm. And, you know, me having to understand that, why did she stay? Why did she not leave? You know, mm. and, you know, having to be in that same household growing up. And it's like, you know, this happened to you, but you still have to stay. So the first time I started dating at 19, got married, and I'm like, okay, I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. And then the same thing happened. So it's like, okay, that's a pattern. So it's kind of let's stop, mm -hmm. take a look back and... My mom passed away two years ago, and in her passing away, then I got a life coach, and we started talking about life and what do I want, what do I expect, and I wasn't working. I was in the shelter, mm -hmm. and from then, um, and I was talking, my, I met a girlfriend, and she was like, oh, my job is hiring, visiting nurse, and I was like, okay. Visiting nurse. Yes, again, out. and I was like, okay, fine, and I start working. I'm like, okay. Helping patients. Help. I used to be a home health aide, mm -hmm. and I wasn't making a lot. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, having to pay bills by yourself, being a single parent. And I had two kids at the time. Mm -hmm. So, and being a single parent, I was like, I need something more. I need more. And I got the job, which, corporate America. Mm -hmm. It's behind the scenes. You don't see us. So, helping patients still, though. Right. It was working with patients still, but just helping them attain, you know, the hospital bed or get those items. So it was awesome. Let me ask you about overcoming, right? What was the biggest thing that enabled you to be able to overcome to be able to write this book? So I think just my insecurities. I was very insecure. I used to walk on my head down, um, very shy. I never talked a lot. So in writing the book, it kind of, it's helping me to get out of the shell Slowly, but surely, gradually. I don't walk with my head down anymore, so I kind of lift my head up. Mm -hmm. But um, it, I just wanted to help other people as well. Like, you're not by yourself, because sometimes you feel like you're alone, mm -hmm. and you're the only one that went through it. Right. And it's like, oh my God, this thing happened to me, and if anyone finds out, like, how can a person love you if they found out what happened to you, you know? And like, okay, will the, that person abuse you as well? But then just overcoming stigma stigma is just like, okay, so this happened to me, I'm broken. Like, I'm going to be broken forever. Right. Like, a am I not going to succeed? Am I going to stay stuck? You know, so it's like, it was a challenge. And then going back to what happened when you were a kid, it's like, oh, my God. So I cried during the book. Mm -hmm. And um, I laughed. And I, I'm happy of where I am now. You know, it, it was a journey. Yeah. A lifelong journey. Yeah. Dawn Bazemore's book is available. It is called I Know It Now. And congratulations <laughs> on being the so author much. and 
all the great work that you're doing with that. Yes. And uh, we look forward to more people getting your book. Yes. All righty. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, I Know It Now by Dawn Bazemore is now available for purchase on Amazon. All you got to do is check it out or stay connected to Dawn on all her social media at author Dawn Bazemore. And uh, you can connect with her there. Unfortunately, we've come to the end of our show today. I want to thank all of our guests for joining us. Most of all, I want to thank you, the viewer, for tuning in. And if you missed any part of today's show, well, you can catch the Cablecast at 5 and 10 p.m. on Optimus Channel 67. If you don't have that, we are on Verizon Files Channel 33. And if you don't have either one of those, well, the World Wide Web is always available at broxnet.org. That wraps it up for us here on the set of Open. I am Darren Jaime telling you, make sure to keep this channel wide open. Take care, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. God bless. <laughs>